we at Status Robotics developed this next generation underwater drone, uh, which focuses on, on compactness. Um, thanks to our software solution, we can not only localize the robot under any conditions, but also uh, map the environment. So this gives the robot very autonomous um, capabilities, so it can uh, move and operate where it's aware, uh, aware of the terrain around it. So it can operate for one side for uh, within the public sector for search and rescue operations. And on the other side, uh, we're looking in the industrial inspection sector with a, with a very much focus on renewable energy. Uh, you have two options either you have a pilot operating the thing so you have a vr enabled user interface in that regard so you have both basically visual information and acoustic information uh displaced as a 3d map um, in real time for the operator or of course if you have an autonomous interface it's much simpler you just say well we need to search that area or inspect that kind of structure and it does it for you basically So we focus really on the most challenging conditions. So here in Switzerland, for example, we have rivers, which are quite challenging to, to operate in as humans or as, uh, as any other solution that's currently out on the market. So that's not really possible. So there are no solutions for, for high currents, if you want so. And similar problems, there are also offshore for, for example, the tidal currents when you want to operate uh, near these offshore wind farms and so on. So it's quite comparable problems we look at currently. If you come from aerial drone where you can apply uh, standard uh, visual feature detection based on cameras, uh, we try the same solution basically, but on acoustic sensors, which is not directly transferable. And therefore, uh, we have now built an AI power pipeline to have still a feature detector, uh, but on acoustic sensors like a sonar, for example. Okay. 